there is certainly much to ponder on when it comes to Nigerian politics, so much more. But let's go from politics to business. We have introduced to you Namdi Ezigbo, the founder of Slot Systems Limited. You know those slot shops where we buy mobile phones and other electronic gadgets, right? Namdi joined us for a review of his book titled Entrepreneurship, The Slot Way. We got him to introduce and read from it. Enjoy this. I'm going to be reading a, a particular page from this book. Um, this is titled, Identifying Your Natural Abilities and Entrepreneurship. This passage is obviously talking about how you can identify your natural abilities and how you can align them with market opportunities in order to achieve sustainable growth. All right, let me read from page 34 identifying your natural abilities and entrepreneurship. The entrepreneur who is able to find a meeting point between his natural abilities and a distinct market opportunity often stands a good chance of becoming very successful. The fact is that we are all blessed with natural talents. Knowing your natural abilities can help you to know or determine what direction to follow, what career to pursue, or what kind of business to do. If you do not know your abilities, you will likely end up doing the wrong things and struggling for results. A guy who is four feet tall may not go very far if he tries to pursue a career in basketball. I see this problem a lot in business. Rather than pursue or build businesses around market opportunities and their own unique abilities, many people in business just copy what other people are doing. This is why there are a whole lot of business people in Nigeria who are always moving from one business to another every other year. They simply follow whatever is the popular business trend. This is not what entrepreneurship is all about. I call this self-employment. Ideally, finding the market opportunity that fits in well with your natural abilities and passion will put you in a position to experience success and make, your uniquely, make you uniquely better. Entrepreneurs who understand this often have a chance of doing well. The same principle works for nations in some ways. As a country, Nigeria can look at what her natural gifts and abilities are that can give the country competitive or comparative advantage in today's world. In Nigeria, for example, we have rubber, so why can't we produce tires and foams for ourselves and for other African countries. What about cassava? What about the yam? We also have timber. So why can't we produce papers in Nigeria rather than importing them? So we can produce things that are within our capacity and actually leverage on them to actually make hard-earned currencies. We can export them. There are many things Nigerians has that can be categorized as natural abilities. Such things must be aligned with global market opportunities and exploited to create words, create value, and also create jobs. By so doing, Nigeria will save cost of importing finished goods. An individual needs to know what he can do at ease as a result of genetics, background, upbringing, or culture. The same largely applies to a business. For example, a factory can produce 20 tons a day, can fix its unit price at 5 naira per unit, something a small factory might find difficult to do because of economies of scale. That advantageous 
size is one of the big company's capabilities. While an individual can identify his ability by looking at his flair and talent, a company will need to look at its competitive advantage or capacity and strength. Unfortunately, many businesses in Nigeria are too focused on producing the same products as everyone else. For any company to perform at a high level, it has to identify its strength in order to create value. 